Not each owl is a nighttime owl. Of the 200 plus owl species that fly the arena nowadays, the giant majority are nocturnal or crepuscular and hunt at dusk, nighttime, or dawn. But a pickout few are diurnal or cathemeral, that means they're maximum energetic with inside the daytime, or really, anytime. This may be decided via way of means of a species' habitat, in addition to their diet. For example, snowy owls spend their summers with inside the Arctic, while the solar remains up for 12 to 24 hours a day. They additionally specially devour lemmings, chunky rodents which might be less complicated to seize at the tundra at the same time as it's mild out. But what might reason those finely tuned hunters to replace their schedules? I have a look at posted nowadays with inside the magazine PNAS strains an evolutionary reversal and certainly considered one among the biggest dwelling companies of owls and presents the primary fossil proof for diurnal behavior of many of the birds in step with the abstract. The study specializes in a well-preserved skeleton from northern China's Malushu formation. Measuring approximately 12 inches from head to toe, Myocernia diurna is predicted to be 6 to 10 million years vintage and is associated to fashionable diurnal species consisting of burrowing owls and northern hawk owls. Paleontologists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences analyzed the dimensions and form of the extinct chook's eye, cranial, and decreased leg bones and has compared them to measurements from present-day relatives. The authors discovered that the morphological capabilities of the fossil jived carefully with day-looking species from the organization Cerniini, which incorporates numerous North American owls, inclusive of the short-eared owl and ferruginous pygmy owl. The Myocernia diurna fossil had a near-intact cranium and set of leg bones, making comparative research with present-day owl skeletons plenty less complicated. See Hong Li. They additionally dissected an undigested meal's pellet with inside the specimen's belly and observed small mammal bones just like the ones extracted from kestrels, a miniature falcon that hunts the away of means of day, from the identical time period. The birds may have coexisted in dry, excessive savanna alongside the Tibetan plateau, however, in all likelihood used exclusive foraging techniques, the researchers write with inside the paper. In evaluation with different historical owls whose senses of sight, sound, or even scent had been ideal to the darkness, Myocernia diurna appeared to be higher tailored for daytime, with huge eyes and less tubular ears that fit the tendencies in grassland owls nowadays. As such, the extinct owl's surroundings could have been the principal motive force in the back of its behavioral shift, the have a look at is going thus far to characteristic the nighttime today transfer to steppe habitat growth and whether cooling with inside the past do Miocene. For Jonathan Slatt, a biologist with the Wildlife Conservation Society, the info of Myocernia diurna's environment are nearly as exciting as its evolutionary history. It's neat that the study suggests that there had been probable owls in savannas, he says, the paleontological document on grassland birds continues to be pretty patchy. But he additionally sees similarities among the historical species and the chuck he researched in Siberia, the blackest and fish owl. Both are a part of the various strigidae family, and are outliers in a way. I sense a few kinship, Slat says. By present-day requirements, that is an unusual owl, and Blackistons fall into that category. Though fish owls are crepuscular, they lack key nocturnal capabilities like extensive facial discs and silent flight. This is probably due to the fact they hunt in rivers, now no longer woods, and feature an exclusive set of techniques for hooking prey. Myocernia diurna's bones tease its specialized looking skills, however its DNA should monitor some distance more. In their paper, the paleontologists point out that the genetic underpinnings of diurnal adaptations might be a fruitful region of studies for others to explore. But all of it factors to a far large question, what made owls turn out to be owls? Slat, for one, isn't making any assumptions, I want to see owls being unexpected, he says. Maybe, that's what defines them in part, too. You are still here great, you are now among the wonderful followers of the channel, so I will be happy to receive your comments on this video and also if you want to create a video specifically for you on a topic that occupies your mind, write it in the comments section below the video and soon you will know the wonderful answers about the topic which you want, and now I bid you farewell and your opinions in a new video coming. Goodbye.